Rinalda as a working estate existed in the context of pervasive racial inequality known as the Jim Crow period. The segregated community of Five Row, so named because it originally consisted of a row of five houses, was home to Rinalda's African-American farm workers and their families. Located parallel to Silas Creek, Five Row was situated out of sight of the bungalow and the other village buildings. A boarding house accommodated several families, while another large building served as the church and school. Unlike the houses in Rinalda Village, those in Five Row did not have electricity or indoor running water. Families made do with kerosene lamps and coal heaters. Water was drawn from several taps of artesian well water. The major domo for the Babcocks, Harvey Miller, grew up in Five Row. They were frame houses. They were frame houses only had four rooms and five rooms. At that time, you had no, your privilege was outside, I told you. And, you know, that was, but they did have pipe water not in your house. Then I was about as far from the, I could take a hose pipe and run the water from the speaker up to my mother's wash tub place. Mm -hmm. Two holes, two lengths of holes. Wouldn't have to carry it. Good wages lured many tenant farmers to join the Renolda workforce. Ellis Pledger walked 20 miles a day to make $9 a week, three times what he received elsewhere. In 1916, he moved to Five Row with his wife, Flora. Despite the lack of electricity and running water, residents of Five Row remembered it as a close-knit community, as expressed by Flora Pledger. But I thought to the best place I'd ever seen. I loved it. I loved it. And if it was like have the water and everything like I got now, I'd rather be there anywhere I could be. I just naturally loved it. You know, people was friendly, sociable and everything. The children, you never had to whoop them. They was good, just like a family. they get along with one another. You never had to lock your door. You just go on and shut the door. I just come on out in the summertime when I went to work. I just come on out and let the door come shut. Not the wooden door, just the screen door. Just cool in the house when you get back. 